phones for the dad, who doesn't know he's a dad. Just think, every time you fall asleep, they grow and grow and become more and more like you. Hey, it's not just when you're asleep. These things are growing all the time. Shit, you know. Is that true? That makes it even scarier. And the most frustrating thing about the whole situation was uh, that he took the 19-year-old uh, Estonian nanny with him. I really, I, I don't know what a 44-year-old man wants with a 19-year-old uh, nanny when he hasn't even got the children with him. Um, I, I'm not a freak. I re, I re, you know, I'm just, I'm just a normal girl. I just. I just happen to have one very long arm. Um. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, I mean, people stare. I just wish people would see past the arm and, you know, just see me for what I really am. You may not think of it to look at me, but uh, I am in fact an eco-warrior. I chose the uh, eco version of the Range Rover Sport. I try to reduce my carbon footprint by walking as little as possible. My new book uh, by Lydia Dubla-Barrel is uh, A Blanket is Not Just for a Picnic, It's Also a Home for a Starving African. Printed into 72 languages, uh, and also in Braille, um, a Braille section at the back. I mean, we can't be discriminatory uh, these days, can we? You know, if someone is uh, deaf, how are they meant to read? And he jumps into the back of the car, picks up Pip, and races into reception. He slips briefly, but we won't mention that. Smash Pip's head hard against the wall. Bang! <laughs> but we won't mention that. Picks himself up again and races into reception. You belong! He says like Captain, like one of those snake captains, Captain Snake. Flickage, flickage. You've got life to save today. And they usher him into the vet's office. Who's doing something with a cat's bottom, but a cat's bottom can wait when there are lives to be saved. We'll go to town.